let's scan another period of time that is very interesting because uh, we have 70,000 years ago Homo sapiens, mm -hmm. but then 500 years ago there is another great revolution, the science revolution. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. What kind of changes has uh, come about with science? The scientific revolution is uh, may become the most important revolution not only in history but even in biology because what happens with the scientific revolution which started about 500 years ago but it's still continuing exactly is that humans are deciphering the laws of nature especially the laws of biology and this gives humans immense new powers including the power to start changing their own biology and the biology of other animals through things like genetic engineering. You have a beautiful example, uh, uh, this green, flu fluorescent mm. green <laughs> rabbit. rabbit. Yeah. Please tell us about it and let's talk about this. Yeah, this is um, a, a, not a, about 10 years ago, the, a Brazilian artist, Eduardo. bio artist, uh, Eduardo, Eduardo Kac. Uh, he, he, took, he, he wanted to create a new artistic uh, uh, creation, a green fluorescent rabbit. So he commissioned it from a laboratory of genetic engineering in France. They took a gene from a jellyfish that causes the jellyfish to glow in a green fluorescent light. And they implanted this gene in the DNA of a normal white, white rabbit and the rabbit started to glow in a green fluorescent light. And actually this is done today not only by, by artists, it's a very common procedure. In many uh, genetic uh, laboratories, it is done in order to, to be able to identify certain things about, about the animals. And it can even be done to humans. It has not been done, as far as I know, due to ethical restrictions. But in principle, there should be no problem to take this gene from the jellyfish put it in a human DNA, and the human will start to glow in a green fluorescent light. Will be electric ships. <laughs> <laughs> really electric. Pues seremos ovejas eléctricas con luz fosforescente en nuestros ojos. La revolución científica ha traído cambios impensables. Arari nos dice que el mono imaginante está en el umbral de redefinir lo que es lo humano. El problema es qué es lo que deseamos. ¿Cómo queremos que sea la agenda de conocimiento en el siglo XXI? ¿Cuáles son los relatos que contribuirán al bien común? De